So now let's hear it totally out of control. between control and out of control. There's aspects of both in both run-throughs, but I wanted to show you guys some techniques on how to not totally get off the rails when you're playing fast technical things. Uh, but first, I have a couple of announcements. First is that we made it to 2,000 subscribers. That's incredible. I can't believe the channel has grown this much. When I first started the channel, I mostly just made it for my own students, and I can't believe how many people have seen it on YouTube. It's still wild to me. I'm super grateful for everyone who supported the channel and has helped it grow. I mean, it seems out in the world now. So to celebrate, I'm going to be giving away some reads and or lessons. So to make sure that you're eligible, make sure you follow the link in the description and comment on one of the videos. If you are in the list, following the link, it's a little Google form to fill out. And you comment on a video, I'll make a random number generator and we will draw some winners for some reads soon, or lessons, if you don't want reads. It doesn't matter, I just want to give stuff away in celebration. So just my way of saying thank you and my gratitude for the community. Also, I have a recital coming up. Um, I don't remember the date exactly. I think it's December 4th, but I could be wrong. Check in the description. It is in support of KIND, which is an organization that helps uh, unaccompanied minors at the border and help them run through the immigration process and get health services and education services uh, while they're waiting to be reunited with their parents. So a really important mission that they undergo and I want to support them in some way. So we're having a benefit concert to help them out and also to celebrate the wonderfulness of diverse cultures my own identity has always been a little bit of an issue for me, so I'm expressing that through music in this recital. I really hope you'll join me. It's got some really fun pieces on it, and yeah, the uh, link for that is in the description. It's free, obviously, and I hope I see you there. Okay, how not to get off the rails? Well, the trick is to anchor, anchor, anchor. If you are secure in your musical ideas and you have places to flex, you will not fall apart, which is great. That's the goal. I got this idea. <laughs> I didn't make it up. I mean, I learned this idea from Alex Klein. And if you go and listen to his Vivaldi CDs, you'll see some amazing technique, but also some very organic and lyrical playing. And he accomplishes this by really putting weight on certain notes that allows the phrase to flex so that you're not just a typewriter. The goal is to not be a typewriter. In everything, right? We want to be organic musicians. So for example, let's take the very beginning. You want to play in a way that is very flowing and free and leading to the next harmonic change. And this 18 has it pretty marked with the accents. It helps to play with a read that is not dried out. Give me one second while I soak this. Okay, we're back in action. So the G is marked with accent. I'm going to hold on to that and vibrate that a little bit more. I'm not going to punch it in the face. I just want to vibrate it a little bit more so I can really lean on it and get my bearings that way so I don't fall apart. And that's the trick to anchor notes. Now another spot for me that's used for anchor notes, which isn't ex super intuitive, I think, is in bar 22. Uh, it's in the middle of this. And I mean, that's like an extra one. You'll notice if you go back to listen to other recordings and technique that I think is very flowy, people use them all the time. And if you really pay attention, you'll see that everything is not super even. This A2 just happens to be a really good study on how to do it. Okay, another thing that's going to help you not fall apart is to not hold tension. If you're trying to stand on one leg on a merry-go-round, it's a lot harder to stay uh, upright. 
upright than if you are on two feet. So make sure that you're always on two feet. Sometimes I have students and they'll come in and they'll play in a very like leaning kind of way. And uh, that's a very unstable position. And it's not easy to play the oboe already, and then it's even harder in an unstable position. So just make sure both feet are on the ground, or if you're sitting, both feet are still on the ground. And you're able to move your weight in between them without getting stuck. It's when you're getting stuck that's the problem. So you might try just shifting your weight and playing the beginning of the eighteen. Mmm. Man, it is so dry today. I think that's the end, but you get the idea. You just want to be able to flow through with your air and not get so bogged down with the hands, what the hands are doing. Other than that, just practice your long tones and your scales, and the technique will come over time. It's really hard to overnight technique. It develops over a long time. Let's see if I can demonstrate one more time. Yeah, so you can kind of just flow through and try not to get stuck. Obviously, slow practice at the beginning. I have a lot of videos on how to practice slow things. Well, how to practice fast things, but you practice fast things by practicing them slowly. So slowly. I hope that helps. If it does, uh, like the video. Or if it doesn't help, dislike it for sure. Like, let me know what's going on. Or even better, leave me a comment so you can tell me what you think specifically. Uh, you can sign up for the Oval Files newsletter, and when in doubt, play beautifully. See you at the recital, maybe, I hope. Mm.